Hey guys, it's Jack One Day, and today I've got some great news for you. So, Create 0.3 is out. That's for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.16.3 and 4. If you've never heard of the Create Minecraft mod before, it's based on building, decoration, and aesthetic automation so you can enhance your worlds and get even more creative. So I'm going to quickly go through some of the latest fix and enhancements to the mod uh, with this latest update. Later on in this video I will show you how to download and install this mod yourself. So if you're looking for that part of the video then you can just skip it using the chapters. So here are some of the latest fixes and enhancements. Fixed open pipe ends not providing fluids to pipe network. Safety check for pipe attachment rendering. Windowed fluid pipes can now be waterlogged. Fixed hose pulley, not placing source block when filling with chocolate or honey. Added a fluid tag to prevent bottomless draining behaviour of the hose pulleys. Grindstones can now be moved on contraptions. Fixed fluids fighting the item drain. Added some crash safety for coupling rendering. Updated mixer tooltip. Added replacement assist for the RSC's cogwheel as well as the machines with integrated cogwheels. Fixed basin, not tree in a recipe when output fluids are emptied. Added fluid behavior safety on render thread. Depots can now be picked up with the wrench. Fixed deployer, not activating blocks. And lastly, fixed the broken serialization of carriage contraptions. I think there are some great fixes and enhancements for this update, so make sure to check it out. Overall, I'm really loving this mod, and I think it's a well needed mod for Minecraft. Everyone should try this free mod out today, so here's how to download it and install it. So what you need to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, just check what your uh, version you're running, so make sure you're on the latest at 1.16.4, or... If you're not, then you're going to need to remember that for when you're downloading the mod. But for this purposes, I'm going to be doing the latest version, so you can use the latest version of Create. Once you've done that, what you need to do is head over to minecraftforge.net. Links will all be in the description for all the websites I'm about to mention. So once you've accepted the cookies, head over to the version of Minecraft that you are using on the left panel down the side. And then you've got two recommended. You've got the latest download or late, uh, the recommended download. I recommend either, it doesn't really matter. Um, then just click the installer and it will take you to this page wait five seconds And then you should get another button up top right which will allow you to click skip and then the download will appear So you've got to keep keep because it will give you a little warning message saying it could be harmful So once you've got it downloaded you can click it and it should run and install it on your computer However on a side note, I just want to run through a issue So a common issue is that you might have WinRAR or you might not have Java installed properly or it might not be in the correct path and for that reason it might not actually run as an installer and you'll just have a load of files. In that case what you want to do is go over to this website I've also linked in the description and basically just follow the little guide. It's so you can basically run the JAR files which is Java sort of files on the Windows 10 desktop. Basically you just got to make sure you're running your Java executable as admin and you've got to change the environmental path. Once you've done that and you're ready to go then obviously you can run the forge installer. There you go and then just click client install uh, and then click ok. Run that through. Mine's very quick as I've already downloaded it and there you go successfully installed blah 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 blah. Now you're ready to basically install the actual mod. Go over to this website link in the description. So as you see it says create. Go over to the files tab and then you can see the download and it's got the latest one there. So I'm clicking download and I'm just clicking click here to skip that little timer. Same again, you get a little error message, got to click keep and then that will be downloaded. So now I'm just going to click show in folder. So right click it and then show in folder and there you go. There it is in my downloads. So you can either copy it or just drag it across. So what we need to do is open up another files explorer. So I'm going to do that now. So now I've opened up another file explorer, I'm going to go up to the top search tab sort of thing or where I search my directory and I'm going to do a percentage sign app data, all is one word and then another percentage sign. There you go, so now you go to Minecraft and then you go to mods in that folder. So from here all you need to do is drag that little file from your downloads into the mods folder or you can just copy it like I said and paste it. 
Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go. So you can go over to Minecraft Launcher again, open that up. And now what you need to do is basically, if you go down to where it says latest release, click on that little arrow, and it should say Forge. If it doesn't, just go over to the installation tab at the top, click new, and just enter a name for that, and then make sure you have the version set as the release, and then make sure that's there, like shown on screen, and just create, uh, create that instant. Once you've done that, then you're ready to go, but you should have that already created like I do. Click play, and we'll just do that, and it's, this is basically loading up the mod now. So now this launcher is loading up Minecraft, but with the forge sort of system. Now that's loaded, you'll be greeted with the menu like usual, and you've just got all the little bits of data at the bottom, and you see it says free mods loaded. So if you go into the mods little button there, and you can see create, and you've got the version there, so it is successfully loaded, and you can basically create a world. Um, I've already created one called create, and then once that loads up, you'll have all the features of this mod. It'll be great to see some of your guys' worlds if you use this mod. So I've just loaded this world up into creative just so you can see all the cool items this mod has to offer. There is endless amounts of things you can do, so enjoy it. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please smash that thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe because I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I greatly appreciate it. Also, comment your thoughts down below and have a Merry Christmas. Peace.